Hey guys, it's Ishani, aka Total Makeup Junkie 101. So today I'm going to be doing a little bit of a flashback Total Makeup Junkie. We are going to be talking about the newest MAC holiday collection, and I'm basically just going to do one of those old school, just go through, swatch it as I go type MAC hauls. I haven't hauled anything from MAC in quite a while, so I'll just be doing little stories of how I decided to even purchase anything from this collection. And just show you guys the things I got. Just a warning, I didn't really pick up that much, so this is gonna be more of like a chit chat video. So if you're not into that and you just really want to see just what I got and just move on, you may not love this video, but regardless, I'm gonna do it anyways because I feel like it's just, it's just such a flashback. I haven't done a Mac haul in forever and I haven't even really seen anybody do a Mac haul in forever. So anyways, here's my Mac bag. And I have a couple of receipts here because I actually pre ordered my stuff. Yeah, I actually went that hard for this collection. I saw the packaging and flipped. I remember there was a time on YouTube when everybody was obsessed with Mac. Everybody was doing Mac hauls. Mac was like that brand. Like it was the it brand. And I feel like recently Mac might be struggling a little bit. I just think the hype of Mac has gone down significantly just with all of the other competition they have. Personally, I love supporting indie makeup brands. You guys know I own my own makeup brand, so I'm all about supporting small businesses. I really think that is the future, but that also doesn't mean that I don't support bigger businesses. And there are some things that MAC releases that I think are really pretty. Okay, let's just keep talking, Ishani. Keep talking, don't show any products. That's what people are here for. Okay, so the first thing that I picked up, I believe this was called the Snowball Collection, if I'm not mistaken. MAC did a killer job, absolutely killer job with this packaging. So all of the products come in this like clear plastic unit carton. And then the look of the actual packaging is almost like this beautiful, like shattered glass effect. It's like a metalized shattered glass look, but it's not actually metal. It's still like a plastic component. This product that I picked up happens to be one of their face powders, opalescent. So one of their opalescent face powders in the shade Happy Go Dazzling, Happy Go Dazzling Lee. Okay, that's even more complicated. Now I really did want to get this primarily because of the compact. They released two different shades. I swatched both of them and then I ended up going with this one because I actually thought it was the most gorgeous golden highlight. And I haven't even shown you guys what it looked like. A plus Ishani. The actual embossing on these products is Stunning. This snowflake design is so, so pretty. And as much as I didn't want to mess up the embossing on this product because it's just so, so gorgeous, I couldn't help it because I actually really want to use this as a highlight. It is such a pretty shade. I went ahead and swatched it on the back of my hand. I don't know if you guys are actually going to get the full effect of it. You can see it right here. It is the most beautiful golden highlight. It's a true like yellow gold, but it doesn't look super yellow on a tan complexion. If you're medium to light, it might pull pretty yellow, but on my skin, it's just gives me the most beautiful natural like candlelit warm glow and I actually really love the formula of this because it is finely milled but it's not super super creamy or pigmented this is a product that you can really just kind of layer on without the fear of looking overdone and just to let you guys know this product retailed for $34 so it was not cheap by any means pretty pricey especially for a MAC product but regardless MAC also released a whole bunch of their what are these called the extra dimension eyeshadows. This is probably my favorite eyeshadow formula from MAC. It's that kind of powder gelée texture. Let me go ahead and show you guys the packaging. Again, beautiful, that kind of gold shattered glass effect. And then the actual embossing on the product. Once again, that snowflake, which is so beautiful. So I picked up two shades of those eyeshadows. I got Frost Winked and Stylishly Merry. And I have to tell you guys, out of the two, Stylishly Merry. Mm. 
Oh my gosh, let's just have a moment. Here are the swatches. So we have Frost Winked right here and then Stylishly Mary. And I'm gonna kind of like rotate my hand around because both of these are shades that are very, very multi-chrome, duochrome effect. I just kind of want to put it everywhere. Like I want to wear it as a cheek highlight. I want to put it all over my eyelids. I want to just pop that all over my lips. It's the most duochrome shade. And just to let you know, each of these shadows retail for $20. Next up, I picked up one lipstick. And I'm not even going to lie, I just picked this up because I just... I needed a lipstick with this packaging. This shattered glass, beautiful, beautiful packaging. I needed to get a lipstick. I went in and swatched all the colors. A lot of the colors looked really basic. They had like a basic red, a berry, and all of those types of shades. I was gonna get the berry shade, but then I saw this one, and this is called Shimmer and Spice. This is basically like that eyeshadow I just showed you, but in a lipstick. It basically looks like a duochrome peachy green glittery shade and this lipstick claims to be a frost finish but I'll be honest it kind of looks more like their were they called the dazzle lipsticks Mac had this collection that had like glitter lipsticks and I believe they called them the dazzle lipsticks and this almost looks more like a dazzle lipsticks to me because it's fairly sheer and it does have those kind of larger particles of glitter I think this will be so pretty to top over berry lipsticks, red lipsticks, dark vampy lipsticks, even nude lipsticks. I don't know. I think this will be a fun one to kind of transform other lip products. And this lipstick retailed for $17.50. And then the final product I got, again, just got it for the packaging. This is one of the Snowball face bags, and this one is in the peach shade. They also have a gold shade, which actually has a whisper of guilt. And I ended up pre-ordering both of them, the peach and the gold, but apparently the gold one isn't officially releasing until November 2nd or something. So even though I pre-ordered it and they put it to the side, they wouldn't let me pick it up until November 2nd. So regardless, I did end up getting the peach one as well. And the gold one is exactly the same. It's just the highlighter in there is different. But I just wanted to go ahead and show you. It's like a little pom-pom. And then it's a really cute sequined makeup bag. It's got a rose gold little zipper pull here. And then inside you are getting two items. You're getting a fan brush and then you're getting the highlighter. If we're being honest, it's nice that you get a bag and a brush, but people are buying this for the highlighter. It's just kind of unfortunate. You can't buy these highlighters separately. You have to get them in this whole set. So first off, let me go ahead and show you guys the brush. This is the MAC 140 SES brush. And you know, it's a really pretty rose gold kind of matte metallic handle. And it's a pretty dense, fan brush. I mean, I definitely wouldn't use it for the highlighter that came in this kit because it's big and it's really dense and it's, I think, a little too soft to actually use with the formula of highlight. So the actual highlighter comes in this compact. It's very similar to the other one I showed you, but this one is rose gold versus just the gold. And this product is one of the MAC Extra Dimension Skin Finishes. The shade that came in the peach bag is called Show Gold and first off, this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous embossing. I can't even handle it. And I will say that this shade, Show Gold, I didn't realize it when I purchased it, but this is actually a permanent shade. So you don't have to actually pick it up in this kit unless you want it in this special packaging with the special embossing. But if you don't really care about that and you just want the color and the highlight, you can pick it up individually. I actually already had it in my collection, so I pulled it out. It's a really, really beautiful highlight color. Again, it's kind of like a duochrome, iridescent, pinky, peachy highlight, and it does have some kind of slight micro glitter particles in it, so it's very, very shiny. If you guys aren't familiar with the Extra Dimension formula, the eyeshadows were also in that Extra Dimension finish. It's kind of a drier finish. You need kind of stiffer, natural haired brushes to pick it up. If you use a highlighter brush that's not dense enough or that's too soft, it's just gonna put a hard pan over the product. It's not actually going to pick it up and deposit it on your skin. So you do have to be a little bit weary of the brushes you use with this formula 
formula, but I will say the actual effect you get on the skin, there's nothing quite like it. It's just so metallic. It's just like, it's almost like a wet metallic look and the space bag which has the brush and the show gold beautiful compact here retails for $49.50 which again I said kind of sucks because everybody's buying it for that highlighter so it's like you're paying 50 bucks for a highlighter but apparently I did it regardless so I can't even be the one to complain so yeah that is everything that I picked up from the new MAC snowball collection if you guys picked up anything from this collection please let me know what you got in the comments down below but yeah that is everything thank you guys so so much for your love and support i really appreciate it and i will talk to you guys in my next video very soon i'll see you then bye